Here is our track on that silver van in the moments after the kidnapping. We know that Jessica was still at the Exxon station at 1051. That's the time of her final customer transaction. Just after 11 o'clock, the van is spotted on surveillance video at the old Homestead Tavern. At 11.04, the van is caught on this new video at the Coin Zone store. At 11.15, a customer calls 911 to say that there's no clerk back at the station. Tonight, we have team coverage breaking new developments on this case, and we start with Leon Hendricks focusing on the new video and what police say they're learning from it. Leon? That's right, and fortunately, that video doesn't give us a clear picture of who's in the vehicle or how many people are in that vehicle, which, of course, would be key to all this. But they are learning one thing. The longer that this video is talked about in the media and the longer they go without hearing from the person who might be in that vehicle, they're more convinced that it had something to do with what happened to Jessica. And here's the band we're looking at. Today, it's another small piece to a puzzle investigators are struggling to complete. Who's driving the van seen here? And what do they know about what happened to Jessica Hearinga? The picture is a bit clearer, shows the van heading north on Grand Haven Road, but not clear enough to show who's in the van or any identifying features of the vehicle. This as a community continues to comfort a tireless family wondering what happened to their loved one. It's impacted uh, my community. They, they're, they're part of this and uh, you know, that's what we do as a Christian community. We pray for people. Today, a high school group gathered in prayer with the family as they, along with police, aim to put together what they have, the sketch, the van, hoping to learn in the end what happened to Jessica Hearinga. So still lots to go in the investigation. Police trying to work through all of the tips they're getting. Lots of people, of course, taking a look at that sketch, realizing that they might know something. And they're calling authorities with that information. Of course, it's a lot to sift through, but that's what they want to do. They want to get the information that they, that's out there, and then they can sift through whether it helps or not with the investigation. Reporting live in Norton Shores, Leon Hendricks, 24-Hour News 8.